Hi to everybody there in the red team at NAB. Um, I wish I could be there in person this year. It's going to be a very interesting NAB. I'm sure the place is packed with uh, 3D toys and devices, stereo everywhere you look. And I would have loved to be part of all that. But unfortunately, I'm stuck here in New Zealand working on the script um, of a film called The Hobbit. So I have to stay in front of the word processor. But I did want to just send this little um, show of support to Red, to Jim and to Jared and Ted and everyone at the Red team, because I have to admit um, that I am a Red fan. I think what uh, Jim has done to with the film industry is really quite exciting. The fact that, um, you know, a, a small camera builder, you know, as someone who's doing it for, for the right reasons, as a, as a passion, as a hobby almost, um, is producing amazing equipment that we all benefit in. I, I've liked the idea of Red ever since I first read about it, I guess, you know, three years ago now. And I was lucky enough to um, get my hands on the first two prototype cameras um, that Jim brought down to New Zealand and we shot a um, little movie talk called Crossing the Line, which I think was at NAB three years ago, was it? Um, and, uh, you know, th that fulfilled everything that I hoped the Red could be. I I'm not a technical guy and I don't look at the, at the graphs and the charts and all the mathematical stuff. I, I just like the way that the picture looks. And the Red picture is an attractive looking image to me. I mean, film is going to be superseded, obviously that's happening. Um, as much as we all love, you know, 35 millimeter film, it's not got very much longer to go and uh, digital is g going to replace it. So to me, it's all about how that digital picture looks. And whatever the red guys are doing, I think they're doing a good job. It, the, the, the image looks attractive, the colors are nice, and I just like the way that it looks. And there's no more technical or no more simple than that. Um, and we shot um, a movie called District 9 using the red cameras um, a couple of years ago. And that was a great experience, very reliable. We didn't have any real problems. Um, and it obviously that movie was partly a documentary style too. So, you know, in terms of the digital look, it, um, it suited it very well. But, you know, one of the things with red is that it doesn't have too much of a digital look. Um, the final image quality has a sort of pastel bright colors and I like that. I like the fact that uh, it, you know, to me, it, if you're going to replace film, then this is a perfectly good image to, to go with. And the other thing that I also like a lot of, about um, digital photography in general, and especially the direction that Red are going, is the idea of shooting films at 4K, at 4,000 line resolution. I know that you know everyone has this sort of feeling that there's an industry standard um, has been set at 2K, and that's what cinemas are gearing up for. But to me, that almost goes back to the days in which digital was so far behind film that people were trying to work out at what point does the digital image get good enough to replace film. And it's like 2K was decided as almost the, the, um, the bottom line as the replacement is if you can get a 2K image, 2,000 lines resolution, then, then that'll be okay. But, you know, 4,000, 4K, I think, is a great idea for feature films. The amount of detail and the amount of information and, and that we can get, it's going to be as if filmmakers are using 65 millimeter or 70 millimeter, like the days of Lawrence of Arabia and um, Dr. Zhivago. All those movies were shot on, you know, 70 millimeter because they were epic and people wanted that level of detail. And the fact that if we now can shoot feature films at 4K and project them at 4K, that to me is really exciting. So Red are heading in that direction and, um, and I'm really happy about that as well. Hopefully, Jim will get these epics out. He's been teasing us with this um, lovely epic camera for long enough now, so we need to get our, our hands on them. The last few weeks, We've been playing around with um, with shooting some footage on the new sensor on one of our old cameras. Um, this is Claris. This is one of my original um, red cameras that I've had. I actually took this to Pennsylvania when we were doing the Lovely Bones, and I used to get up at, at 5 o'clock in the morning and drive to Valley Forge National Park and uh, 
and as dawn was coming, I, I'd find interesting shots and I shot some sort of atmospheric footage, just my one man camera crew. Um, and, you know, I, I got a little bit of plate photography done by myself that I was able to use in, in the, the Lovely Bones movie, actually, um, in various composite shots contained some of these images that I did. And it was fun just, you know, throwing a camera in the car, driving out and, and shooting it, the sort of thing I, I never really had the skill to be able to do um, in 35mm. But anyway, this is Claris, and at the moment Claris has uh, the new um, second generation sensor that they've installed for me in this camera, the same sensor that the Epic is going to have. So we've been trying um, the sensor out this last week. Um, Richie Black, our DP, has been sh shooting uh, interesting looking tests. I, the sensor is terrific. The picture is better than um, a red image has ever looked before. I particularly like what happens in the low end, or the amount of detail that is becoming apparent in the shadow areas now is really phenomenal. What used to go into black um, in the original sensor, now you have far more layering of, of detail in that shadow end. I also like what it does with tungsten light. It handles tungsten really well and it does very attractive things with the skin tones too. So that's good, and the dynamic range has been extended. Um, so, yeah, we're very, very happy with this um, this new sensor, and we'd be happier when it goes into the Epic camera, and we have some of those down here in New Zealand. So hopefully Jim won't be spending too much time in NAB. He's got a few cameras to build, um, and he'll get back to the factory and get us all these Epics that we've been waiting for. So anyway, hey, I just wanted to send um, thanks to, to Red for the work you're doing as a filmmaker. Um, I appreciate it, and I'm really excited and looking forward to, to the next year or two when we have Reds and Epics and 3D and Stereo. I've got a couple of projects lined up that uh, I'm going to be having a lot of fun with. Thank you.